In order to create a reoccurring payment plan online, you will need to access your online statements via your club's website. If you have any dependents connected to your account, they will utilize the same online payment account as you. To access the online payment portal to create a reoccurring payment plan, click the Make Reoccurring Payment button. Once in the online payment portal, all active reoccurring payment plans will be listed at the top of the screen. In order to cancel a payment plan, select that payment plan and click the Remove button. Then in the pop-up, click Remove. In order to create a new reoccurring payment plan, enter the plan details in the Create New Reoccurring Payment section. Select the payment interval of when payment should be made. Set the payment method to either Account Balance, where the payment will be the outstanding balance within your online statement at the time the payment is processed, or Fixed Amount, where you can go ahead and enter an amount in the Fixed Amount field, and this value is what will be paid via the reoccurring payment plan. As you set up your payment plan, the payment details will be listed for you. Determine when the payment plan will expire by selecting the payment expiration as Never Expires, where the payment plan will continue until you cancel it, or by date, where you can choose the stop date of when you would like the payment plan to end. Enter a start date. This is the date on which the payment plan will make its first payment. Note that if you have already made a one-time payment for your current balance due, you will want to set this start date to the following month to avoid duplicate payments. After you have set up the details for your reoccurring payment plan, Select your payment method of credit or debit card or bank account as made available by your club. If you do not have an existing card or account on file, you can add one now. Otherwise, select an existing card or account for this reoccurring payment plan. For more information on how to set up a card or bank account, watch the videos titled Online Bank Payment and Online Card Payment. Before you submit the payment plan, take note of any information that still needs to be completed. This outstanding information will be listed below the reoccurring payment plan details and must be completed before the Submit Payment button becomes available. If you need to update your email address, phone number, or email preferences, you can do so in the Update Information section found at the bottom of the screen. If you do not want to process a payment at this time, click the Cancel Payment button to return to your online statements. After you have filled in the details for your reoccurring payment plan, selected the payment method, and confirmed that no information is outstanding, you can go ahead and click that Submit Payment button to process your payment. Upon submitting a payment plan, you will be redirected to a confirmation page that provides a brief breakdown of your payment plan. Click Go Back to Homepage to go back to your online statements.